Uh, this next one, well, this is kind of cool, especially since I was watching that Top Gun movie last night, getting into all those jets and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Still couldn't figure out. They're so scared of the fifth gen fighters that they might have to go up against, but I'm, it, they didn't make it abundantly clear why this group couldn't have access to that type of equipment. Fifth gen? It doesn't matter. Well, I'm not spoiling anything. I just have these questions, and I'm sure someone knows the answer, so I couldn't help myself. But I'm watching, I'm watching Tommy Cruise over there. Okay. I was sitting in a movie theater. Yeah. Popcorn? Uh, there was popcorn involved. Nice. It's like, what am I doing over here? I'm buying the tickets. <laughs> I'm buying the tickets. I'm picking the seats. It's I not a revelation. No, it is. I don't, go, I don't go over there. Okay. It was my brother, and he said, no, 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 you're going to see this movie. Uh -huh. And I was like, wow. And he watched it. Before he watched in advance. He liked it so much. He said, you're going to see this movie. You got to see classic Tommy Cruise. You got to relive the childhood and everything. And I was like, all right, well, whatever. We watched when we were kids. Sure. And I brought my two kids. And they bought it and, you know, went over, got the snacks and all that stuff. And uh, you got the sound and the jets are going here and there. And they, all the, they got music from the, cl I'm not going to spoil it though. Hmm, okay. But. Uh, you had a good time. That's what matters. You know what? Every once in a while, some some weird happened after the previews. Tom Cruise comes on the screen and goes, "I just want to thank you for buying tickets and coming to see the movie." Yeah. Before the movie starts, just him, direct to camera. Uh huh. I, that, maybe I spoiled that because you. Well, it's you, definitely a passion project. You would have got a shock out of that when you go to the theater. Yeah. You would have got a shock. You're like, wow, Tom is thanking me right now <laughs> for buying the ticket. A tear rolls down. <laughs> it's just not what I expected to see. Yeah. Uh, just the candid. It really meant a lot to him. I, I guess so. In this movie. I guess so. Yeah. He's saying thank you over the ticket. And I haven't been there in a while. Uh -huh. They're the best seats. There's nobody in there because I went at the late, sure, the, yeah. the latest one. Had a place to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you ever heard of a movie theater before. Try it out every so okay, often. Yeah. I don't know if you ever heard about it. Give it a shot, man. I will. Anyway, this is uh, also to do with jets. American Airlines announces an agreement to purchase Boom Supersonic Overture aircraft, places a deposit on 20 overtures. The world's largest airline, American, poised to have the world's largest supersonic fleet with the new Boom Supersonic aircraft. Now, supersonic, you love to get into it. And especially me, since I'm watching the jet movie last night mm. with the Mach this and the Mach that and the Mach 10, mm. not 10.1. For people that saw the movie, they know what I'm joking about. Okay. This is an actual passenger jet. And you don't, this hasn't happened in a long time. I talked to you on this show about the Concorde, which used to be stupid fast, but you could only fly the thing over the ocean because the sonic boom. You couldn't fly that over Willie Doo's house. He's trying to relax in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do it. I'm sun tanning. You can't do it. With that like, one. Well, and that one sky. that so one used loud. to do it in a couple hours or whatever it was. You're going New York to London uh, or Paris. Yeah. I can't remember what the route was. Uh, but so they grounded that one. But they had the technology. It just It's burning a lot of fuel, man. It's burning hot, these guys. And it's whether or not it's economical and what they can do. Now, this actually, I don't think, is as fast as the Concorde was. It's going to carry between 65 and 80 passengers Mach 1.7 over water. That's the key over water, I told you. Mach 1.7 is still no joke. That's twice the speed of today's fastest commercial aircraft. I'm about to hop on one of these. It's like the bullet train of the sky. If you need me in Europe, I'm coming in this one. Yeah, okay. Well, if you have an option to go American, you see the, the flight is available and it's the overture. Come on, yeah, Will. Yeah, this is really cool. Come on, Will. Twice the speed. Uh, optimized for speed, safety, and sustainability, Overture is also being designed to fly more than 600 routes around the world in as little as half the time. Miami to London in just under five hours, Los Angeles to Honolulu in three hours. You want to go to Hawaii, Will? I would love to. Go to Hawaii, man. Is this more expensive? I'm guessing, right? Gotta be. Yeah, of course. I mean, you're doing it half the time. The seats are probably going to be super cool. That was, was funny. That was what was funny about the Concorde. The seats weren't that luxurious. No. No, because it was, uh, you know, it was all about the speed. It's almost oh. military the way it was in there. But 
Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be nice. You should uh, cut the travel time in half. Shot. Well, it's slated to roll out 2025, but it won't carry passengers until 2029. Oh, this is the cockpit. Yes. Oh, this is the interior. Sorry. Yeah, but you have such shorter flights, like LA to Honolulu in three hours. You're not so worried, are you? Like, you don't, like, what I'm trying to say is the accommodations don't have to be like Emirates or something. No. Because no, no. You're, you're just cruising. Yeah. You're cutting the time down. Yeah, I'll, I'll take, I'll try it. You're going to try it in 2029. I hope we make it to 2029, Well, because uh -huh. I really want to give this one a, fl I want to be on, I want to try this one out. All right. I want to go Mach 1.7 over water and pretend I'm Tommy Cruise. Mm. That's the life. So, uh, this one, you sent this one, uh, Yeezy Gap. You're, are you upset about this? Somebody's upset about this. They apparently delivered to clothes in these giant garbage bags and then some employees tried to put it on hangers and then apparently he got mad kanye i'm talking about or yay or yeezy or whatever he got mad and then said no it's got to be in the garbage bags you don't put it on the shelves yeah like giant bins garbage bags yeah they have to just With pick it out clothes just piled in and i don't know how you get your sizes or anything else but the employees at the Gap are like, what do you want us to do here? Because you get somebody come in and go, hey, I want that shirt in a small. And they're like, oh, dig it out God. For you. It must be at the bottom. Oh, Just give me a couple God. minutes here. So is it a stunt? Is it? It's also kind of symbolic. It's his partnership, but he still launches his own product. Hmm. So is he trying to say, well, you guys can have the trash stuff? This is the stuff I'm willing to give to you, Gap? Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And he used to work at the Gap himself. So Gap employees are like, hey, man, you know how hard it is already trying to sort this stuff. We got to make it harder on us. Plus, there's another controversy where people are kind of pissed at him because he was saying that the, his inspiration for fashion is homeless people. Uh, he put a post on Twitter, actually, which, oh no, Instagram, my, my bad. He was back on Instagram. He said, look to the children, look to the homeless as the biggest inspiration for all design. And some people were like, they I, they were offended by that. Mm. Um, yeah, they there was like another thing that happened at the, the Gap NYC where people were just coming in and then seeing piles of clothes just yeah. laid out just I can, not yeah. even like organized categorized and anything people were just like lining up and then trying to find their size <laughs> that's it but this is just making it harder for no reason yeah like for no reason it would it wouldn't take that long to just okay well anyway I mean, even if the piles were just the sizes or the bags were just the sizes. No? No. Well, okay. Never mind. They want to make it as confusing as possible. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? Maybe there's some genius here, which is if it takes you so long to find what you want to buy, then you can't leave yet. And if you can't leave, guess what happens to the lineup outside? It keeps growing because everyone is frustrated and frantic. So now it looks like way more people want this stuff. Well, and, that's not a good experience. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good experience. I'm just saying maybe it gives the impression of hype. Like, you remember Apple used to have people lining up forever overnight or whatever. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah. But at some point, you have to be efficient, right? Like, their their MO is to sell these clothes. Did people and buy it, there's though? people lining up to, like, buy these clothes, like, people Listen. are just going to give up. Dude, I'm just presenting. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't want to line up for I'm not doing this. Yeah. I, I, but I'm just presenting to you how they maybe have justified such things. I don't know about this. People are still buying it. Yeah. It's he, just not very efficient. People are putting themselves yeah, through no. this hell of the garbage bags and whatever. Yeah. No? Maybe there's a gold brick in there. They're just hunting. Yeah, I'm sure it's, I'm sure that it has been considered and I'm sure there is, it's all part of the hype generation and it's all part of getting the thing to be talked about and so forth. And by the sure, way, I don't mean yeah. generation like age group of people. I mean, generating hype. Yeah. Continuing to do 
the unusual thing or the ugly thing or the shocking thing or whatever it might happen to be, Will. Yeah, I, I get it. I hear you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you see what, like, us talking about? 